Reporting to you live here from what was the world's largest rubber ducky at the Toronto Waterfront Festival. It's live from last week, episode 143. Let's go! Oh, it's not here no more. <laughs> Welcome here my fellow Jay Walkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So earlier today, after getting off my fourth night shift in a row, a stretch that was crazy busy and stressful, I was pretty lucky because when I got out of work, guess who was there to pick me up? Hello! But yeah, after getting to the condo and sleeping only this much after my shift, the wife and I headed to the Young and Lawrence area to visit and feed one of her co-workers' cats, of whom the wife is cat-sitting at this time. Okay, come on, let's eat. Let's <laughs> Who goes by the name of 4D. Hello. Don't jump on my face, please. Must be hungry. But now, on to this evening, where the wife and I are walking through this sketchy alley, as for the first time since this episode. Oh! We're currently making our way to the Blue Jays game. But before we arrive to the stadium for tonight's match, we have a quick birthday greeting to one of my FGAR friends from back in my university days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Michael. Happy birthday, Michael. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my friends who you guys know has made a previous Live From Last Week episode cameo and who I've also taken to a Blue Jays game in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Han Han. Happy birthday, Han Lee. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But guys, now that we've made it out of this alleyway, the wife and I can finally make our way to the Blue Jays game. After that fun time at the Jays game on a date night with the wife, where for the first time since we did this last year, we were able to run into this guy. The loony! The loony is here! Can I take a picture with, yeah, with Buck? Buck's his name, right? Yeah, that's true. Hey, Buck! Woo, loony dog! High five. Thank you, Ma. As well as enjoying the Tuesday $1 Looney Hot Dog promo. Looney Dog, cheers! <laughs> and where the wife almost caught a t shirt giveaway. Oh, we picked up Giselle from her place and got some late night McDonald's drive through once again. But this morning after sleeping less than five hours, waking up before the time of the sunrise, looking haggard just like this, I made my way in the mini with my McDonald's smoothie that I got last night to go feed the cat that we are cat slash house sitting for bringing them their morning breakfast meal. Good kitty. Good kitty. But one thing that really did concern me today was when driving, this notification came up on the Mini's dashboard. Which just means sometime in the near future, I'll be having to shell out a little bit of cash just for the Mini's maintenance. 
But guys, to get my mind off of this, we once again went back to Epic Sports for yet another September badminton session. <laughs> After finishing another four hour of a marathon badminton session earlier today with nice rallies like this one. Guess who made their way after committing themselves to play last week? Going pretty much straight to the beach alongside the champion himself, my nephew Mech as well as the cousin Jonas once again this week for another Wednesday evening beach volleyball session. Afterwards, reminded by the wife for the cat that we are house sitting for, has their very own meal plan of two meals a day. I took the motorcycle uptown just after sunset to give Forty the cat their nighttime dinner. All right, kitty, let's eat. There you go. I love chicken. I love liver. Meow mix. Meow mix. Please deliver. Right, cat. Oops. Ugh. Couple of pets, and I'll see you next time, kitty. Then, after going back to the condo to pick up the wife and G to be their personal chauffeur, driving them back downtown to catch one of the TIFF movies called A Difficult Year. Tonight, I'm just chilling here at the Grange Park area until these guys are done with this evening's movie screening. But guys, before we wrap it up for this busy day, I have a quick birthday greeting to a childhood friend who I used to play with on the DQ soccer team. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Kaylee. Happy birthday, Kaylee. We've also got a birthday shout out to a beach volleyball friend of mine who I'm remembering playing alongside with a couple years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Joanne. Happy birthday, Joanne. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So, post-TIFF movie screening, the wife, G and Paul, let me know that they were going for some food and drinks at the local Fox in the Fiddle on John here, where I was able to find their table and catch up with them over some late night eats. And while Paul and G were away from the table to use the facilities for a moment, the wife and I seized this opportunity to pretend that we were on a candlelight dinner date. Cheers to date night! Joking aside guys, but after tasting and eating this delicious bacon cheeseburger here, of which I would highly recommend if you ever visited the Fox and the Fiddle on John, 
I was able to go back to the condo to pass out around 3 a.m., but was unable to catch up on some lost sleep over the past couple of days, waking up early after less than five hours of rest last night. So even with these bags under my eyes, and as you guys can see, my eyes still being puffy, I decided to be productive, bringing for the first time since this, live from last week episode, the baby mini to the local Ryan's Express Lube, to get done an overdue oil change, and to try to get sorted out that brakes issue that I've been having, then walking home knowing that the next time I see my mini, it will be leaving a large hole in my wallet. I also had took the motorcycle back to Uptown Toronto to visit the kitty once again to keep them company and to feed them their daily breakfast. And after a couple of hours remembering this scene from last week's episode, this celebration was short-lived. For the fact that the Minnie's car flag that I got not too long ago had unfortunately got lost while we were driving on the highway. I stopped by Canadian Tire to buy this baby and made it into a gift for when we picked up the Mini with her fresh new oil and her front brakes recently done. But anyways, this afternoon I'm going to try to catch up on some lost sleep before going for my first of two night shifts tonight. And with that, I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. Guys, in between my night shifts, napping for about three hours or so, I was able to catch the replay of the recent 2023 MTV VMAs, a very entertaining show with several live performances that was recorded a couple of days earlier in the week. But just getting ready before I go in for my second night shift in a row tonight, and prior to going to feed the Cat 40 their dinner tonight, before my night shift, feeding the cat. I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood best friends of who you guys have seen in previous Live From Last Week videos many upon many times in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you Antoine. Happy birthday Twan. I'm hoping that you and the family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Today after being pretty excited, actually having a couple of days off, after working six shifts in eight days and driving one of my coworkers, Victoria, home from work, we stopped by to feed breakfast to 40 this morning. <laughs> oh, that's fur in the mouth. Be patient. Patient, kitty. Okay, hold on. All right, there's your scoop. A full scoop. Before I passed out at the condo for less than two hours. And since I couldn't stay asleep, I decided to be productive by heading over to 102 to attend my first garage sale in several years, forgetting that the wife gave me orders in particular not to bring anything back home from the garage sale. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting this. Sorry, wife. <laughs> I mean, it's for her, so. I then went inside to see recent birthday girl, cousin Eliza. Who am I looking at? Yeah. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Oh, the camera's there. <laughs> Babysit my niece and my nephew here in the living room. I was also able to try this freshly made delicious beef patty from my cousin Faye. Thanks for the beef patty, Faye. You're welcome. Where's it from? Charlie's? Yeah. Charlie's. Yo, I gotta visit this Charlie's place. Wife. That was actually pretty delicious. As well, looking at their fridge later, I saw new plans for renovations for new cabinets in the dining area of 102. But before leaving the niece and nephew this afternoon, I tried to get them to say a little birthday greeting for the little sister. <laughs> Lina, say happy birthday, Nika. Lina, say happy birthday. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, Nika. Ooh. And speaking of birthdays, we first got a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. 
I've also got a birthday shout out to this silly rabbit, tricks are for kids, enjoying those LED bunny ears that I bought them a couple weeks back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nika. Happy birthday, little sister. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Moving on, this evening, after catching the marathon of a four-hour Blue Jays game on TV... Oh, go it, go it, go it, go it, go it! Yeah! 4-3 <laughs> in 13 innings! Let's go! I'm wrapping up the night, taking the motorcycle out once again to make my way to feed the kitty 40 for the last time this week, grooming them and spending some quality time with them, Yes, yes. Before their owners come back from vacation tomorrow night. <laughs> okay, Forty. Bye. Nice taking care of you. After straight up passing out at 10 o'clock when I got home, I was able to knock out for about 7 hours before waking up at 5 a.m. And after going to the St. Teresa Parish Shrine of the Little Flower for Sunday Catholic Mass, at the plaza across the street, I saw that Little Caesars is holding a $5 pizza special that I will probably hit up sometime next week. But yeah, later on in the afternoon, after catching yet another stressful walk-off victory on TV for the Blue Jays, I celebrated by getting some KFC for the first time in a long time to satisfy my fried chicken craving. As well, after the wife had posted some of our battery operated candles on Facebook Marketplace, I was able to meet up the buyer at a local gas station. In my hands, now in Bob's hands. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you very much. Selling an item instead of actually purchasing something for the first time since this episode before heading here to Toronto's waterfront area to catch the Toronto Waterfront Festival highlighted by this. Visiting it for the first time since it made an appearance a couple years back, the world's largest rubber ducky. Oh my gosh, I just drove all the way down here to the waterfront to find out that they have deflated the rubber ducky. <laughs> Where are you, Rubber Ducky? At least I was here to see it, just not inflated. So after an unsuccessful trip to see that beloved Rubber Ducky yesterday, oh man guys, what a mistake. I passed out once again at 10 p.m. at the condo, only to get up before 6 a.m., way before the sunrise to do some studying on YouTube as you guys can totally see here of a group of musicians that I'm really excited to see. Going back to this Live From Last Week episode a couple months ago, I was able to get my hands on a pair of tickets to Baby Metal, a band that my cousin Lou is dying to see. Tonight is officially the night where my cousin Lou and I will finally see at the RBC Echo Beach live and in concert the beloved band called Baby Metal. But unfortunately, you guys will have to tune in to next week's episode in order to see the music video of this Japanese metal band. And so, before we leave you guys in order to enter the concert, we just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends who I'm remembering playing alongside on that Keon Soccer Select team. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Miller. Happy birthday, Miller. We've also got a birthday shout out to my co-worker Sista, of whom you guys know has made several cameos in previous Live From Last Week episodes. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Josie. Happy birthday, Josie. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And well, with the end of that birthday greeting, we'll wrap up this week's episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. 
And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.